Why, James? Why? Hello guys, my name is Guillaume and welcome to a new episode of Hit the Tone. <laughs> What's up guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today. Welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Thomas Guitars and Basses. If you're new here, welcome. What I do is take bits of legendary songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. Keep in mind that it is a recommendation-based format, so whatever song you want to see here next, put it in the comment section down below and I'll get to you as soon as I possibly can. While you're down there, if you could consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, that would be Marvelous. Thank you very, very much in advance. And with that said, let's start with today's song, which is Master of Puppets by Metallica. Yes, internet. It is time. I'm scared. This is Metallica we're talking about. This is James Hetfield. This is one of the most iconic rhythm guitar sound in the history of the universe one of the most powerful down-picking hands in creation. Yeah, here goes nothing. As far as I could find out on the internet, James Hetfield used a Jackson King V guitar to record Master of Puppets. I chose to go with our trusty studio Gibson Les Paul right there, which is a fantastic do-it-all kind of instrument, medium output pickups, and I'm sure it'll do the job great. I usually give you a sample of the sound of the guitar into the amp, before we get onto the amp, but because this one is so special, I'm not gonna lose any time with that. I'm gonna be in the bridge position and we're gonna have a look at what's happening there. As far as I can find out, they were using Mesa Boogie Mark II C Plus heads, and that was the core of their sound. They were both Mesa Boogie preamps. And I'm saying preamps because apparently what happened in the studio is that they went from the preamp output, so the, the effect send, if you prefer, of the Mesa Boogie Mark II C Plus into the power amp inputs of a Marshall JCM 800. This is what I've got today. The PV effect send is going into the effect return of the JCM 800 combo, leaving the controls of the JCM 800 rendered completely useless, except for the presence, because that's the only thing that's touching the power amp of this. And as you do with high gain heads, I am still going to boost the front of the PV with the right side of the JHS double barrel, which is basically a tube screamer. So volume on 10, drive on zero, just to make that work a little harder and be a little more focused, uh, mostly in the low end. So without further ado, this is the sound. <laughs> I hope I did an okay job with the mics there. This is the sound I'm getting. This is what I'm gonna go with. Obviously, as usual, this is not mandatory. It is a very tricky kind of setup. It's something that I never wanted to touch with a 10 foot pole because it's Metallica and you don't touch Metallica. But I was so happy with that sound that I had to make that episode happen. If you don't have this, if you only have a combo, for example, there's a lot of preamp pedals, Mesa Boogie preamp pedals, uh, PV or EVH, very American, modern sounding metal preamps that you could easily put in the effects return of your combo and that would work just the same. None of this is mandatory, but all of it will be linked in the description box down below. If you need some more specs, some inspiration, I'll put some more options for you guys as well, but it's all gonna be down there. So you have a bunch of options to get sort of close to that sound. However, Please, please, please be super careful if you're playing with two amps at the same time because going from the effect send of the PV to another amp does not mean that you can just do that. The amp, the PV still needs to see a load. It still needs to see a speaker, otherwise the, pre, the power amp of that amp is going to explode. So. If you're doing that at home, it's absolutely safe. It's fine, it's all external cable. You're not messing around with anything, but make super duper sure that 
the preamp head, the head that's being used as the PV right now, is still connected to a cab. I have one off stage, it's off camera, but it's still connected to a cab. Be very careful about that. Just wanted to make super duper sure that that was clear. With all of this covered, let's go on to the final part of that video, which is as usual the most important and is how to play the song. I'm sure you clicked on that video because of the word tone and you're not really expecting a lesson because most of the guitar players that are familiar with Metallica at this point have at some point in their lives learned Master of Puppets. But for those of you guys who don't know how to play that song yet, let's go through it together. We're going to start by having a look at our fretting hand. <laughs> It's not that complicated. It's probably not as complicated as it looks on the fretting side of things. You're just going by half steps down the A and E string. Nothing to say on this side as much as we're going to have to talk about this hand. Let's first have a look. <laughs> I'm gonna keep making that excuse, I'm gonna keep using that every time I can until I'm fully recovered, but I did break my arm a couple months back and fast speaking is still something that I'm kind of struggling with. And so I thought, why not do James Hetfield? That was a stupid decision from the start and I know it. But that is undoubtedly the most complicated thing there is to this song is the picking because it is only exclusively down picking. You can't alternate pick. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't sound right if you really pay attention. And mostly anyone who's ever been at some point into James Hetfield will rip your head off. You need to down pick all of it. And at that tempo, it's quite the exercise because the introduction is quite long. So that means you're gonna have to hold that rhythm for, yeah, a fair bit of time. And it can get exhausting. Working out, I guess, is my best advice for that song, but it's all there is really. It's, you need to down pick it. So you need to get there somehow. But with that said, I think that's it guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on the absolutely legendary Master of Puppets by Metallica. I hope you guys maybe learned something today and had fun learning it. If so, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on the next episodes because they very well could be your song. Just let me know which one you want to see in the comments and I'll get to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Head the Tone. <laughs>